on and they do them daily. And we need to see how our trends are on the BN creatinine um, as well as um, the rest of the electrolytes. Right. Okay, so if you anticipated that she had a fluid imbalance, mm -hmm. um, what would you anticipate the trend of her BUN and creatinine being? How would you see it change? I Anybody? think an increase in BUN because that'd be indicative of maybe like dehydration and then maybe a decrease of creatinine if she's actually having um, like something pathologically going on with her kidneys. Yeah, if it's pathological for so, kidneys, her, go her creatinine goes up. But remember, there's that 10 to 1 ratio with creatinine and BUN. Okay. And so when BUN rises um, out of that 10 to 1 ratio, then 90 some percent of the time it's due to dehydration. Mm -hmm. Okay. But isn't right? creatinine more like long term kidney function? So if it's something that was a very recent in the last four days, the BUN might be a lot higher with creatinine may or may not have changed. If there's kidney damage, they both elevate basically in that ten to one ratio. Oh, okay. Okay. So if there's some kind of kidney damage, you're gonna see both of them elevate and maintain that ten to one. If they the ten to one goes away and all of a sudden the BUN rises a little bit more than that creatinine and it, and it gets out of that 10 to 1 ratio, then there's fluid issues usually. Mm -hmm. oh, so, okay. so what other labs besides, now you said all those other electrolytes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. that was <laughs>